When I was in high school back then, uh, we, we had some called Future Farmers of America. That program actually exposed students to farming, agriculture, and agriculture is more than farming. It also includes um, equipment, um, it includes um, marine, it includes uh, other aspects other than just farming. We tend to think agriculture is just farming, it's more than that. I like the fact that we expose our young people to this very vibrant and wonderful profession. It's needed. If we don't eat, we don't live. We tend to think that because we could run to the grocery store, then food will always be there, but that's not necessarily the case. We live on an isolated island, and just in case there's a, another disruption in the uh, supply of, of goods like we had before, we need to take care of ourselves until that supply line opens up again. I was canvassing recently, and I met this lady who was bragging about the different types of plants that she grows and the, the, the harvest that she receives from those plants. And I was so amazed because she lives on just a, a small lot. It's not even like a quarter acre lot. And she's yielding so much food to support her family that it made me think if, if one little lot could produce that much food for one family, Look at the impact it just had on their cost of goods. That means this family could save money on their grocery bill because they're growing their own food. That means this family now have a more healthier alternative than the GMOs that we normally buy in the, in the stores. So it's, it's important that we really focus on agriculture and, and turn it into an industry that could really save us just in case uh, something happens to the supply line again. And it's, it's doable. We have the land for it. We have the resources um, in terms of the natural resources that's available, the water, um, the, the technical know-how. What would make it more appealing to young people is if we integrate more technology to it, which it does have a lot of technology to it, but we just can't afford it. It's very expensive, but most farming in the mainland and, and globally is done through um, satellite uh, GPS. Um, it tells you exactly where to plant, when to plant, how to plant. And so that's something we could incorporate. That would get young people more involved in the process. Um, and hopefully we could really transcend agriculture in the territory, but sustainability is a key. We, we gotta support our farmers, we have to put uh, a process in place where the public policy we develop is sustainable for them and it helps the community in the long run.